What's up everybody? Welcome back TGN 100. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build what I'm calling the railway cart. You can either call it the train, you can call it the railway, you can call it the mining cart, but either way I'm going to be showing you one of these simple, easy ways to get from one biome to the other. So today we're going to be going from the grasslands here out to the dry valley. So we're going to start by just building us up a platform. This is one of the uh, best ways to get above everything and not really run into anything. So you can see I am building this in creative, in sandbox mode. And the reason is for this is because if you're going to build this in survival, which it's fully capable to be built in survival, you're just going to need to harvest tons of wood. It's the most easiest accessible thing to harvest is wood. but I'm just going to go ahead and show you the breakdown of how to do this here and create it first. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to build up, build up um, above everything. I started on a hill and we're going to build a platform. So once we build the platform, we're going to add rustic floor two. And the thing with this build is we're going to go out that way to the dry valley, but you're going to have to build three sections. All right. It's going to need to be three floor lengths wide. And the reason for this is to fit the dynamic foundation. So we've already gone ahead and I've skipped ahead so you don't have to watch me tirelessly build this thing all the way out here to the dry valley. And this is just the first, you know, part of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off a platform right here. This is where, where we will end for our, uh, our test run to show you guys how everything works with this build. So we'll get this part started here and then we're going to go ahead and lay down some um, some stairs. We're going to lay down some stairs to get down to the top of this uh, this mountain or this mesa, whatever um, you guys want to call it. That's what we're going to do. <clears throat> so let's lay a couple more of those and then we're going to go back. And this is just a great way to get from point A to point B. And you can just drive out here come out to this mesa harvest some amber harvest whatever you want out here in the dry valley come back up onto your platform basically it's almost like a train station you know so that's why i'm calling it the railway or you can call it the train you can call it whatever you want to call it but um i think i'm gonna go with the railway cars i think kind of like that so we'll build down here it just gives us a dynamic to just show how this uh this machine will work for pretty much anything that you need as long as you can harvest as much wood as possible you can make this work in your favor <clears throat> all right so we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and uh get this uh flooring built basically like a road all the way back so everything has been built and now i have my dynamic foundation laid down with a couple small tires on it and what I'm doing is I've placed a rail on the other side at the very edge of the flooring, you know, just to kind of make sure I'm getting this thing in here nice and tight and uh, proper, properly aligned. Because if you don't have it right, the rail cart will kind of drive itself at an angle and it'll create a lot of drag. So you want to make sure that you're placing your next railing that we're going to use. I'm using the rustic railing three not at the edge you want to set it in like one, uh, like a one by one space in so it's not going to be at the edge because what this is going to do it's going to basically just create a nice formed track for your uh your railway your railway car to uh to run on so let's go ahead and get a couple of these laid down <clears throat> and uh we will get this thing underway here shortly. So you can see I got to uh, I got to adjust here because I had it at the um, at the edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix this part here. I'm going to knock this one off. And see, we want to leave that nice gap on one side. It's just a good way to uh, like I said, it's going to keep this up. Oh, I didn't mean for that to happen. We'll go ahead and fix this floor. 
but it's a good way to keep our, our vehicle in line, not turning, not driving at an angle, nothing like that. So, all right, so I just got to go ahead and run the rest of these um, railings down. So go ahead and let's get this part done. I hope everybody's been liking the other videos. I hope my other vehicles have been helping out, you know, everybody in Lego Fortnite being creative and getting uh, to places they need to get to quickly. All right, so that's that side done and we're gonna put a stop railing here. So we'll add a couple stop railings just because this is where we wanna end for now. And then we'll go back and we're gonna go ahead and run the other side of the railing down. Remember this side has the little one by one gap on the side if you wanna use Lego terms. And uh, I'm gonna run this side all the way down as well. It is a little time consuming, but I mean, for what I'm using, 98% of this entire build is nothing but wood. So you're talking about the easiest harvestable thing in the game. So now we have our dynamic foundation, we have four small tires, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add <clears throat> small thrusters you don't want to use big thrusters it's it gets a little too much power you're gonna get drag out of it so you just want to go ahead two small thrusters and let's pop us on a switch all right and uh, yeah let's let it ride so we're gonna go ahead and take off as you can see there's no drag. I mean, we are running. This is the railway car. I mean, you railway train, railway car. I mean, we are just constant running. There's no drag, nothing's breaking, nothing's cracking. And I mean, we're getting from the grasslands all the way out here to Dry Valley in no time, no time. So here we go. This is another thing I wanted to show if you wanted to make it a much simpler back and forth. You can just build another dynamic foundation with small thrusters, go in the opposite direction, but you're gonna wanna put two tires in between them. So just put two tires on one or the other foundation, just to give it that little spring cushion so your foundations aren't um, banging into each other. And you have yourself a full working railway train, railway car, mining cart whatever you want to call it so um <clears throat> yeah this is just has worked out really great you know i mean i really enjoy this build i don't have anything breaking on it everything is staying yes once again this is in sandbox it is creative but this is fully functional in survival so um just to add to the whole mining cart thing you can get some simple chests some small chests you can line this whole thing up with some chests. Now remember, when you start adding a lot of weight to these things, you're gonna get drag out of it. So you kinda wanna go with some basic chests you know, to build on here. You don't wanna go with anything too, too heavy, too bulky, because it's just gonna weigh you down, it's gonna create drag, and then you're probably gonna run into some you know, mechanical issues with that. But here we go, I mean, we got, what, eight chests here? They can hold, I think, six things each. And I mean, we are still cruising. So you can see, even with a little bit of weight now, you're getting a little bit of drag, a little disruption. But all in all, everything's good, man. I hope this helps everybody. I appreciate everybody watching and liking the video. So that's it for me. I'll check you guys next time. Thank you.